As the world's population grows and compounded by climate change, food sources are declining. This calls for a more proactive approach to ensure improved food production and security. With Namibia being a semi-arid country, food security has become a serious threat with the genetic material of most traditional crops fast shrinking. Fatma Sasu of International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA's plant breeding and genetic sections, stress the need for Namibia to adopt new crop varieties. Our project aim was to uh, 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 develop new varieties for drought tolerance. As uh, you all know that uh, Namibia is the one of the driest country in the sub-Saharan Africa. That's why we decided to focus first of all drought tolerance. Following thorough research by Namibian experts, three crop varieties, sorghum, millet and kelpie, were selected and sent to IAEA headquarters in Vienna, Austria for tests. The studies have established that these crops can be modified to become more adaptive to the country's environment. Ministry of Agriculture breeding team uh, is doing breeding process and then they are selecting, screening and now we are in the phase of the, uh, uh, we, they had very good progress and then they informed us that uh, uh, they, uh, they have uh, candidate mutant uh, varieties and then uh, they want to introduce to farmers. Sarsu says that this will ensure increased food production and ultimately contribute to food security. This appears to be good news for Namibia. Uh, if it is not dry, dry in this country, then we get floods, floods, and everything is underwater, even your crops. So uh, we have to really adapt. We have to really uh, learn how to, to survive. And mitigating measures should be the order of the day that we always have to think as to if this is the situation we find ourselves in, what's that that we have to do this year in terms of, of crop production? Over the course of this week, the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry, together with IAEA experts, will visit farmers' field days in the northern part of the country to introduce the concept of induced mutation to them. Jeff Tashiumino, NBC News, Venduk.